Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, about the uh, networks versus monoliths? Yeah, so this I, this started with, again, there's a fascinating memo that came out of, um, he, he was a former um, Amazon guy who joined Google. I'm going to forget his name now. It's terrible, but uh, it's on my blog. Uh, and he was talking to people at Google at what Amazon was really good about. And he, he, he related this story of Jeff Bezos sending out a memo to everybody in Amazon saying, basically, stop talking to each other, uh, wrap every function in the organization in a layer of software, uh, and give me what I describe as the digital equivalent of the knobbly bobbly bits on the top and bottom of a Lego brick. So that rather than Amazon being one giant monolith, one deeply integrated organization, just another Walmart, but with better technology, it's instead this box of Lego bricks that Jeff Bezos and the other senior leaders can look at and go, well, do you know what? We can take these Lego bricks and stack them up like this and make a new service over here. And actually, if that service doesn't work, I'm only having to pull down one Lego brick because the other bricks are already making money in different spaces. And do you know what? Just like when you're a kid and your friend comes around and they want to play with your Lego, my friends in other businesses can pick up one of these Lego bricks and they can take it into their business and build a business on that. And so what's happened over the last few years is that Amazon has become, yes, the sort of the retailer that we all look from the top down and see, but also this network of Lego bricks that allows anybody to pick up Amazon Web Services and build their own thing on it and pick up, you know, Amazon Logistics and build their own thing on it. You know, and start to pick up all of these different digital chunks wrapped in APIs, but opened up to the rest of the world, just like they're opened up to everybody inside Amazon. And I'm seeing more and more organizations, actually both in the public and in private sector, building themselves like that now. People call it different things. Uh, you know, shared services are starting to go that way. But they're basically taking every function in the business, wrapping it in the digital equivalent of the knobbly bits on Lego bricks, and allowing either people inside the organization to play with them and recombine them to innovate and find new opportunities, or actually sailing them out as, as wholesale businesses in their own right or services in their own right to people elsewhere in business, whether they're peers and competitors or people in completely different sectors of industry. And that for me looks like a much more flexible, agile, future-proof, frankly, way of doing business in the future. Mm, beautiful. Yes, I, I was just reading the Gartner Maturity Model on API strategy yesterday, and they said that one of the transitions that maturing organizations are making in their API strategy is moving from measuring the number of calls made to an API as a KPI uh, to instead measuring the number of applications plugging into an API as the measure of its success. Yeah, yeah, and I think that that once you've got that diversity and you've got those whole ecosystems built on your API, that that's power. 